so without further ado, I'd like to get the program underway. And one of the main reasons we're all here this afternoon is to enjoy the musical talents of Mr. Kent Washburn, who is the current Finlandia Foundation National Performer of the Year. Uh, one of the blessings of COVID, if you will, is it extended his uh, time as Performer of the Year, so we have this opportunity to uh, sit and enjoy his talents. Uh, Kent is a native of the Finger Lakes region of New York State. He currently lives in the Metro Washington, D.C. area, and he uh, had no qualms about uh, keeping his plans despite uh, COVID and Mother Nature's best efforts to uh, alter this 125th anniversary weekend. So, without further ado, let's enjoy the first of two, se two segments by Kent Washburn. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. I'm really glad to see you all. This was tough getting here. <laughs> There's been some obstacles. This wasn't the smoothest thing in the world. But you know what? Not only is it glad, not only am I glad to see you here because you made the effort, but if you're here, it's because you value your heritage. Either your Finnish heritage or you value the heritage of Finlandia University. Both of those things are great things to value. 125 years of a wonderful heritage. And Jim Kurti called me earlier this year <coughs> and said, could you play for our 125th anniversary? And I said, sure. <coughs> Later, when I talked to Philip Johnson, Finlandian president, I said, well, I've got some piano music prepared. I've got some organ music prepared, different types of Finnish classical music, modern stuff, all sorts of things. Plus, I was picked as Finlandian performer of the year primarily because I had put together a soundtrack for a Finnish silent movie, and I assembled it from all kinds of Finnish classical folk and <coughs> sources, and play that live for events that like to feature Mustalai Surmaya, the gypsy charmer, a really very good silent movie from 1929. And I said, okay, well, which of these things would you like me to play? And he said, well, none. <laughs> I said, okay. He said, actually, we'd like to feature the music of Martin Isonen. And I said, Okay, I own two pieces of Martin Eason and music, so I'm going to assume, perhaps incorrectly, <laughs> does everyone here know that Martin Eason was a professor of music at Finland University? Looks like most everybody. Who here has heard his music already before some point, at some point? Not, not too, too many, and the reason for that is not very much of his music was published. The overwhelming majority of the music, as Joanna Chalk well knows, is handwritten manuscripts here in the Heritage Center in a series of boxes and, and folders and containers. And I thought, well, if I'm going to feature the music of Martin Eason, maybe I should get some music from Martin Eason. And so I came here in October. Joanna was a big help. And it took me two solid working days to get through all the music. Martin Eason was very prolific. He wrote so much music. He was professor here from 1922 to 1946 of music. He obviously could write music as easily as you or I could send off an email or write a note to somebody to get a shopping list done or something. He wrote so much handwritten music, and he wrote a lot of it. He wrote piano pieces. He wrote pieces for piano and vocal. He wrote solo instruments. He wrote, wrote cantatas. He wrote orchestral pieces. And he wrote operas. And what I'm about to play is the overture for what, as far as I can tell, is his most successful, most well-known opera called Ave von Lapsia. He wrote it in 1924, and I'm going to play the overture for it, because when I came across this piece in the archives, it's this thick book with all this handwritten opera work in it, and I thought, that's going to be a little tough to do unless I want to cast a huge bunch of people who can speak and, and sing fluent Finnish and then get them acting chops and get some costumes and get a theater and get some publicity and get some webs and get some tickets sold and then stage the opera. No, maybe not. That might be asking a little much. But the overture, which you're about to hear, is a really nice medley. That's what overture is of all the songs in Avi Mambasio. And I think this is a really good way to, if you're not familiar with this music, to become familiar with it. It's got a little of everything. It shows his range. It shows his versatility. Let's begin with Avi Bonlapsi, our tribute to Martin Eason.
that one's going to have to stay off in the distance a little bit. One thing that was really interesting about Martinez and also, also was how fluent he was in both Finnish and English and confident enough to write Finnish lyrics for his songs and English lyrics for his songs. And I found a tune that I really like, La Keule Bintu, which means bird of the vista or bird of the waste, something like that. And I thought, this is a great tune, but it's got great Finnish lyrics. If I just come here and play it, I think you might be missing something. And that's why it's my pleasure to bring to you now Mary Sirala, directly from Finland. She came in on a flight yesterday. Come on up, Mary. And she is going to help you really appreciate Mark Denison, in, not just in music, but in lyric. That can be. Thank you. 
It's time to bring in some dancers. Is that not right? All right. Do you want to take over the rest of the intro or just let them go? They've got it. Just go. They've got it. Intro. <laughs>
So I was lucky enough to grow up immersed in my Finnishness. I think many times, milestone events like anniversaries make us reflect on history in similar terms. If not for blank, then blank wouldn't have happened. It allows our human brains to marvel at the steps that had to take place to get us to where we are today. What brings us here today is no different. If the US Civil War and industrialization hadn't happened, there wouldn't have been demand for copper like there was, and the mining industry here may never have developed. Without demand for miners to mine the copper, Finns wouldn't have been recruited to come here to work from the copper and silver mines in Norway. Without the lack of land-owning opportunities for many in Finland, the siren song of cheap land and jobs wouldn't have pulled thousands across the Atlantic. If the number of immigrants hadn't continued to grow and expand into new communities across North America, more clergy wouldn't have been called from Finland to attend their spiritual needs in their mother tongue. If the idea that everyone should have at least a basic education and know how to read hadn't been ingrained in the Lutheran church tradition in Finland, those same clergy may not have founded Sumi College and Theological Seminary. If the thousands of immigrants had simply discarded their heritage, language, and ethnic identity once they became Americans, they would not have celebrated when Finland claimed its independence in 1917, and we would not continue to celebrate Finland's independence day in our small, isolated corner of the Upper Peninsula. But we haven't forgotten the shared history, and there is nowhere where that history and heritage is more valued than here at the Finnish American Heritage Center on the campus of Finlandia University, the only remaining institution of higher learning founded by Finns in the United States. This isn't just a school, Finland isn't just a country in Europe. They are both part of our identity and have made us who we are today. May we look forward to celebrating Independence Day next year in somewhat better conditions and to another 125 years of Finlandia University. Thank you.
With that said, I'd also like to thank uh, the Kibaya dancers for uh, proving that though I was worried that our vocalist might blow the roof off this place, <laughs> instead our dancers uh, blew the floor off this place. I do hope all of them are walking out without a limb. Okay. And also thank you, uh, Mr. Ken Washburn, for providing us with some music today. Uh, I know that the next part of the program is you providing us some more music, and your talents are much greater than mine. So I'd just like to step aside and let you play the, uh, the final set of today's program, which will wrap with the Finnish theme song of Hancock, Kotimani Ompisovi. I'll let Ken take it from here. As I was saying, I'm not really a Martinisonet historian, so if anybody can correct any mistakes I'm making, I'd be happy to hear about it. But, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, the piece we're about to play for you is his most famous, best-known piece. He didn't publish very much of his work. This one did get published, and, in what was an obvious coup, he wrote it for an established, well-known Finnish singer named Vaino Sola. And on the top of the piece of music, it says, dedicated to Vaino Sola. Now, I grew up in New York. My mom is from Himatra, Finland. She's not around to ask these sort of questions anymore. But we have you see it on the set. Oh, I know that song. That was played on the radio. I didn't know that was a Martini song. It's called Kebet Lauru. And yesterday, when we were discussing today's music, it came right up on YouTube when Mary did a search. And we listened to the whole thing. And Vino Sola sings it. It's very nice. It does not mention that it's a Martini piece. So any awareness we can spread about that and do away with this, this lack of recognition, this is our job. This is what we're gonna we're gonna bring and rectify this problem. But first I'd like to present for you Ken Atlau and Mary Sierra Soprano for this. Thank you. 
project comes across as a little short because I really like the music and I hope you guys enjoy it too. And this is just, we expect more performances, more musicians and that sort of thing. But the final piece is called Hang and Sing uh, Through the Eyes of the Spirit. It's my favorite one. It's a little bit of an ode to Puccini, but it's an Easter cantata. And to do the whole thing, we would need a full on choir. So I took a couple excerpts from Hank and Silman. And if you weren't a Martin Nissonen fan before you got here and you're still on the fence, I really hope this puts you over the top. This is my favorite piece that Martin Nissonen has, has uh, composed, written, directed, created, all that stuff, everything but published. <laughs>
directly into Kotimani, it won't be so much. Yes, yes, we shall. Okay. As has been tradition for the past uh, 20 plus years, uh, each annual celebration of Finland's independence uh, concludes with the singing of Kotimani Ompi uh, For those of you who are able, uh, to, to, on today's uh, printed program, the, the lyrics are there. I, I know the, uh, the program didn't quite come out in the font size, I was hoping, but uh, at any rate, the lyrics are there, and we have some very talented folks to lead the singing and playing of this song. So with that, again, thank you all for coming. Uh, please, on your way out this afternoon, stop by the table in the lobby, take with you some 125th anniversary memorabilia, and drive home safely.